Hey guys, it's Idara. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my beauty cart. This is the most practical organization I've ever had for my makeup and my beauty products ever. I've tried a bunch. It's worked so well for me that I've been using this method for the last like, I don't know, six, seven years, maybe more. I don't know. But I got this idea from Shirley B and Yang like a long time ago. The cart that she used was also an Ikea cart like this one. And I actually got that very same cart as well. If I find it, I'll put a picture here. Her cart was actually all makeup. And my cart is makeup, skincare, and health, and hair. I'm kind of like a minimalist, I want to say. Yeah, I only get what I really need. The things I use that are in here are the things that I use on a daily basis. And yeah, I'm going to show you everything in detail. But this is the most freaking practical thing ever, especially now in the winter time. I really don't like to leave my room. My room is the warmest part of the house. Like I'm actually on the floor of my room right now. And when I wake up in the morning, I can literally do everything I need to do from my bed. You guys, I wash myself at night. I wash my face at night in my bathroom. In the morning, I don't wash my face with water. I just slept, you know, it's not like it got dirty. I just use micellar water to get rid of like the products that I used the night before because washing your skin too much is not great. Only thing I need to do outside my room is to go brush my teeth basically. Also, if I want to get ready in the living room, in front of the TV, in front of Netflix, I'll drag this to the living room. Or if I'm about to film a video in my studio, I'll drag this to the studio, get ready in front of the lights and everything in my studio and film my videos. So this is so freaking practical. You have no idea. This is actually a food cart. You, I think you'll find this in the kitchen section of Ikea. It's just to show that with a little imagination, you can really repurpose things in very practical ways. For example, um, these glasses here, these are actually Nutella jars. I use these a lot in the cart as well. <laughs> I also use them as glasses in my kitchen. But yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm super excited about this. So this is what the cart looks like empty. Um, mine is quite dirty. Maybe get it in black. You know how messy beauty can be, like doing your hair with makeup, foundation on your hand. As you can see, there are holes in each layer. I didn't like the fact that the dirt from each level could like fall onto other things on lower levels. So I already had these table mats from Zara Home. Um, they don't fit perfectly. You guys just use this video as inspiration because what I do doesn't necessarily look good. Honestly, I did this for the practicality. What you can do is like get a plastic mat and actually cut it to fit your cart that's another good idea i did that for the top layer i also did that for the second layer so stuff from the top layer doesn't fall onto the second layer and stuff from the second layer doesn't fall onto the stuff from the third layer and i didn't put anything in the third layer because it doesn't matter if it falls on the floor you know that's that so now I'm going to fill up the top part, which is the makeup part. All this is going to depend on you, how much makeup you have, like what kind of makeup you have. But I'm just quickly going to show you guys how I organize what I have as makeup. These are the only palettes I have, you guys. So next I have this um, pouch here. And in here I have like all the rest of my makeup. I have um, eyelashes, basically makeup that I have that I don't use. And honestly, I might just end up throwing away. But I mean, it's there just in case. I have these like, uh, what do you call these? Storage compartments? I don't know, but I got these in Germany. So I live in Strasbourg in France and it's on the border of France and Germany. And so I always go to Germany to do my shopping because it's way cheaper there. And I got these for like six bucks and I got like a pack of, I think six. So I put this here and I put this here. And so in this big one, I put my micellar water that I use to cleanse my face in the morning that I also used to take off my makeup in the evening. And I also have my setting spray. I talked about this in my everyday makeup video. Like I don't use primer, I use this. And, and this is the Dior Backstage Foundation in 4WO. And this one here is where I put my powders, like my setting powder, my contouring powder, my blush powders and uh, yeah highlighter i actually have more space to put something if ever i do get something i need to wash it jack daniels was celebrating their 150th anniversary and the bottles came with these glasses so i just decided to use this for like my brushes basically and those are all my brushes i literally go through a small jar of nutella like this in three days so once i finish a jar like this i usually wait a while before getting another one that's kind of how i pace myself i basically put all my it's mostly my eye stuff so everything that goes around my eyes my eyeliner my mascara my eyebrow 
gel, eyebrow pencil, concealer, more mascara, more concealer, eyeliner, eyeliner. So that's my eye stuff. So in here I put my lip stuff, my lipsticks, lip liners. And I also have my mirror up here. So that's the makeup part, my everyday makeup. If you want to see the video, it's linked down below. So now we're going to move on to the skincare part. There's foundation all the way down here. <laughs> I have this compartment here that came with the other ones that I showed you guys. And so in here, what I have are my vitamins. I use vitamin D because the only way you can get vitamin D is from supplements or the sunlight. And for people who don't leave their houses a lot, introverts or people who work from home you know we can get caught up with work and just not leave the house vitamin d supplements is a great way to like compensate for your lack of sunlight i also use zinc this is good for pimples this helps with digestion you know with this cart as i'm getting ready in the morning i just go ahead and like take my vitamins I also have these compartments here. These I got from the dollar store, these compartments. And the vitamins in here are vitamin C, which is great for your skin. And this is fish oil, which is just great in general. I also have this petroleum jelly. I also have sheer butter here, hand cream. And I have a body spray mist and it's coconut. Usually when I stay at home, I don't use perfumes. I do prefer to use mist because they're lighter. This stuff is here in the back. Next, I have my skincare basket. I really like this because I could just take it out. Everything, I can literally just take everything out from this cart because they're all in compartments. So in here I have all my skincare products that I use on a daily basis. Rose water is saving my skin, you guys. Like it's helping so much with my pores and just the texture of my skin looks so much better with rose water as toner. So in here I also have my deodorant. Another thing I discovered in Germany, this is a German brand, is like cream deodorant, you guys. And this stuff works so well. It helps with sweat. Like I don't sweat when I use this. And it's a cream, so I feel like it's taking care of my armpits at the same time. I don't know about the ingredients though, if it has like all that stuff that's bad in deodorant. Obviously, I have my Midnight Blue Calming Cream for those nights where I feel like my skin needs extra TLC, extra moisture. I have my acne.org products, my holy grail products. I have the bigger versions in my bathroom. Obviously, you can arrange things to look a lot nicer. Next is another Nutella cup with just like my beauty tools. Here I have um, Q-tips and here I have cotton pads to like take off my makeup and stuff like that. So I put that there on the side and voila. I also have my body cream, obviously. Um, body cream is so important right now. This was actually sent to me by Mademoiselle Provence. It's 95.5% natural ingredients, that was what it says. It's interesting because this was made by Miss France 2000 and nine and i have a quote for you guys if you're in france you can like use it it's relax exclamation point <laughs> and it takes a few euros off the price of this honestly i'm not gonna lie i love the texture of it it reminds me of my favorite cream which is the nivea cream it has this like finish to it that's kind of like oily so you feel like it's locking it in like that layer of oil is keeping you moisturized longer that's just gonna stand back there so now we're gonna move down to hair. Real quick, the reason why I put makeup all the way on top is because um, this mirror is up there and you know when I'm doing my makeup, that's when I need the mirror the most and it's just so much easier to like grab things while I'm looking in the mirror here. And then I put the skincare down here because I don't really need a mirror for that. And all the way down here I put hair because it's the messiest, honestly, like I always have hairs falling off my brushes. I don't feel like taking out all the brushes so this used to be like a mini drawer case like it had mini drawers i took out all the drawers turned it upwards like this all the tools that can fit in here are in here basically and i just put that here in the back i have my straightener by the way you guys this straightener is bomb it's the remington straightener uh, i'll link it down below every time i have friends who use it they're so impressed by how well it works um, I love it. And then here I have the curler and the heads are in here. Throw in the back there. So once again, I have another one of these. And um, in here I have the products that I use regularly. So here I have this straightening spray. I also have this one, this heat protector straightening serum. And then I also have my wig glues in here. I also have this. Usually I have um, hair ties in here. 
I don't know, I keep losing them, so there's nothing in here, but I usually have hair ties in here. I have this hair clip for when I'm getting ready to clip my hair back. And I also usually have my scarf for when I go to bed, just like I throw it in the back. This is like a really messy area, but it doesn't matter. This is more practicality than anything else. Okay guys, well that's it for my beauty cart organization. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're gonna try it out. I'm gonna link what I can link down below. Everything I need to get ready is in here so functional so practical i love it so much so yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye uh yeah 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 mm -mm.